Let's take a look at finding the standard deviation of a discrete, prob discrete population probability distribution um, in Google Sheets. We've got our number of girls. Uh, this is out of three children. We could have zero girls, one girls, two girls, three girls, and the corresponding percent. Uh, we're going to want these in decimal form, we're going to see. Let's go ahead and first input our data. Okay, and then our P of X in. And again, these have to be in decimal form. So 0 0 0.3, 0.107, and 0 0.341. Now our formula looks like this. And a key part of this formula is, notice we have our x, we have our p of x. The one thing we don't have is our mu. So we have to find mu first. That's our population mean. So that uh, formula, remember, is down here. You're going to take x times p of x and then add them together. So x times p of x we're doing equals and I'll put a2 times b2. Have to have the equals there for the formula. And we're going to take this value, a2 times this value, b2 and I'll press enter. Now I'm going to click in cell C2, put my mouse in the bottom right hand corner till it becomes a black plus. Click and hold down with my left mouse button, drag down. <clears throat> and that is all these x times p of x's. This sigma, uppercase sigma out in front means add them together. So I cl click the sigma up here and I choose sum. And I want to click with my left mouse button on C2 and drag down to C5. And uh, then if I press enter, this is now our mean move. Now we're going to build this in pieces. This next piece says we're going to do X minus move. So let's do that first. X minus mu. So I'm going to do an equals and X. Where's X? X is over here, A2. And remember, we want this X minus mu. So we got A2 minus mu. Mu is down here at A C6. Now, if I click that, it'll put C6 up there. But what I want it to be is I want it to be an absolute reference. So it always says C6, even when I fill this down. So I'm going to put a dollar sign before the C, dollar sign before the 6. And now I press Enter. And it um, gives me a word results here. Um, 0 minus... 1.537 should give me a negative 1.537, but it's put in decimal form. I'm not sure why, but if I if I click this column, I can uh, choose the the format of the data. Um, let's see if I choose the one two three here and I choose number, that'll give me my negative 1.54. So if you ever have the percents pop up, again, if you choose this one two three option here. And choose number that'll be what it really looks like number wise now i want to fill that down so i click here my lower right hand corner put my cursor it becomes a black plus click and hold down and drag down that's our x minus move <clears throat> next thing i want to do is i want to square it so this is going to be now, this is just a description I'm putting up here. You can put anything, but x minus mu squared. So now I'm going to do an equals d2. And a very easiest way to, to square something is just to do a times d2, times itself. So that's going to be negative 1.54 times negative 1.54. And I press enter. 
gives me that. Now if I click here and fill down, that's our x minus mu squared. Next thing we want to do is multiply times p of x. So x minus mu squared times p of x. So I'm going to do an equals e2 times p of x, which is over here at b2. And press enter. And then fill that down. Well, this sigma that's in front of it, that uh, says add them together now. So down here, I'm going to click my sum and choose um, F2 to F5. And then press enter. Then I need to do the square root of that. So down here, my standard deviation is going to equal the square root. So I start typing SQRT, beginning parentheses, F6, closing parentheses. <coughs> and now take the square root of that number we just found. And then press enter. And that gives us our standard deviation. Not um, the quickest way uh, to do that, but... Um, that shows you how you can use uh, Google Sheets to find uh, the standard deviation.